What's up, y'all? I'm back with another video. You're not seeing my face right now because my head and I did, and I really did not want to record and show my face. But I'm back. Uh, the last video I actually edited was three months ago, but I'm here now, and today's video will be a Nicki Minaj video. And the next few videos will be Nicki Minaj related. I've been mean, wanting to do a video like this for a while. I just never gathered the data to even do it. I've been a Nicki Minaj fan since I was nine. So since 2009, when she, when Lil Wayne dropped his uh, Bad Rock video with his group Young Money and I saw her, I just, uh, she took me by storm. Just, because during the time, there weren't really many female rappers out. You know, it was just, uh, I knew of Lil' Kim and I knew some Miss Yelia songs that MTV and BET would both play. But, uh... Other than that, the only other female rap song I know about is that uh, Keisha Cole song, Let It Go, with Lil' Kim and uh, Missy Elliott. But that's it. And just seeing her like rap like the dudes, but being girly at the same time, I loved it. And then she really like took my heart with Roger That. Roger That is one of my favorite rap songs of all time. It's just, I can never not play that damn song. So, with liking Nicki Minaj for this long you have to admit that, well, I have to admit that there's a lot of things that she does that I don't like, you know? Just because I'm a Nicki Minaj fan, just because I support her does not mean that I'm going to always like everything that she does. Rather, that's like personal things that is in the news or music-wise, and that's what fans don't get. Fans really like to take it out on you when you say you don't like something that she did. And that's the thing with having obsessions, you know? I used to be obsessed with her. I used to be. On my Facebook page, I got this whole album of pictures of just her. And that's how I be. When you obsessed with some damn body, you don't see no wrong in their eyes. But once you start realizing some of the shit they do ain't cool, you just got to understand, like, you know, calm that shit down. Everybody do stuff you're not going to like. Because even when people talk about Nicki Minaj, people might still say they still like her. They just don't like that she doing this. And the, beat, and the barbs would just annihilate you just for saying that which brings me to the video topic today i'm going to be ranking her four studio albums from worst to best now the word worst is pretty strong i don't even want to use that word but that's how you use it in ranking videos so like her albums aren't bad it's just i like some more than others so yeah disclaimer this is an opinionated video and I hope you, you guys need to know that. Please. You can have your opinions in the comments too. But don't start calling me names and all that shit. And just being disrespectful just because of the fact that I have my own opinion. You know. A lot of y'all are probably afraid to. Because look. If there's, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of Nicki Minaj songs that you all don't like either. It's just you're not going to admit it. Especially like say you replay an album. And there's a certain amount of songs that you're just not going to replay. That means you do not like them. You're not going to play them. You don't like them. So, yeah, I'm going to be ranking her four studio albums from best, from worst to best. Number four. This album was very underwhelming. I had waited for it a long time after she was on her off season. It wasn't really releasing anything. But this album just didn't do it for me. I am talking about Queen, the one that starts off the bottom of the list. Queen, Queen didn't really stick with me like that. Like I remember, like I remember the day she dropped it. She didn't drop it at 12 midnight like everybody else. She waited a whole 12 hours to drop it, and I was on my way to my last day at my summer job. And I was listening to it, and I was just sitting here like, man. Same like the other albums, which being different is cool. I don't really like when artists switch their style up, but it's like this is that's something you gotta listen to a few more times. Like Tyler the Creator, he switched his sound. Igor, I wasn't too fond of it at first, but once you listen to it more than once, you might start liking it. But with this, I really did not care for this album. I have not listened, re-listened to it in a while. And what's crazy is I have all I have the other three albums, the hard copies of the of the uh, CD. This one I don't. This album just did not. It didn't feel structured right. It just felt. I don't know. I just did not like this shit. Like you know, like her other albums had themes and certain sounds that went with them. 
this one did, but a lot of songs got like thrown off. So I have a list of the songs that I just did not really like. So it's some that I did not like, didn't care for. It wasn't really like rocking with. So they're not just all bad, but it's a it's a it's a long list of them. So Majesty, Majesty, she was rapping good in it, but I didn't like the beat. And you will realize what a lot of her stuff, the beats might be like not as good as you want them to be, but her rapping be off the chain. It just wasn't structured the way I liked it. Like some of the songs threw off the theme. So I started off with Gunja Burn, then Majesty, Barbie Dreams threw it off because I didn't stay on beat. This didn't stay on topic uh, with the with the sound, it was a specific sound. Rich Sex threw it off, Hard White kept it on. Bed was kind of in the middle for me. Thought I knew you stayed on beat. The next few songs stayed on beat. It's just some of them ones that was thrown in the middle just seem just seem weird. But yeah, let me go on to the songs that I just didn't really fuck with. So like I said, Majesty, I ain't like to be like that. Barbie Dreams was overrated as fuck, and I knew it was going to be just based on the the theme of that that song. Her talking about people that she cool with and shit i knew it was just gonna be a song like that i i ain't fuck with like the song cool it's just it got dick rolled too much i like the end of barbie dreams because it's a whole different beat and she talking about something else rich sex is fucking horrible rich sex is a boring ass song i have it in my notes as horribly boring because it is then she's i think she said pat your pussy if it's worth a Benz truck I remember when that song first dropped. I'm just sitting here listening to it and just cringing because it's just not good. I'm like, if you like it, then cool. I just don't fuck with the song. It's whack as hell. Bed by, with her and Ariana. That song boring. It's boring as hell. It's just, when I saw the video, it looks like a fucking Macy's commercial for fucking perfume. And then, like, one of her wigs and it just did not look right. And then Ariana didn't even sound like she wanted to be in the damn song anyway. Running had, I forgot about that song, honestly. Chun Li, Chun Li is an overrated ass song, and it's kind of boring to me. Like, songs with beats like that, where it's just like it's a hardcore beat, and then you just rapping on it. I don't like shit like that. I like shit that I can like vibe to and move to. Nip Tuck, I forgot about that song too. Come See About Me, I didn't care for because I like RB Nikki. It's just these on here just. I don't know. I ain't even fuck with it like that. Sir, I was really highly anticipating that song. That song is boring as hell. And Future didn't even make it no better. Like, I like songs with Future. And I always wanted a song with him and Nicki. But that song was boring as hell. Miami, uh... It was okay. I ain't like to be like that. Now, I love Good Form, the original Good Form, but once she added Lil Wayne in that shit, it kind of, it fucked it. It just was an unnecessary remix, and the video just made it worse, just because, like, I hate stereotypical strip club songs or strip club videos, because it's like, you know, back in the day, how the music videos were when it was just, um, it told a story. This ain't telling shit. This is just an annoying-ass video, and then... A bonus song, No Frauds, featuring Lil Wayne and Drake. You know, you'll probably think I'm nitpicking. I'm not. No Frauds, I liked it when it first came out, but I can't listen to it now just because I listened to it because it was her responding to Remy, but after that, it's just an okay ass song. Like, I remember Nikki Hole verse, then I only remember half of Drake verse and don't remember shit from Wayne. So, technically, this is 12 songs. That I didn't really like from the 19 with the 20 from me adding that to this. So, the final score that Queen gets from me is a 43. And that sounds really bad. Like, myself, if I ranked it based on, like, me just ranking off the top of my head, I'd probably rank it, like, uh... Five or six. But, like, this, this is just based on data. Like, I'm doing it based on me... Saying what songs I did not like, then dividing that number by 20 or whatever the number of songs. So, percentages seem bad. Let me do like the fraction four out of 10. I ain't really care for it that much. Yeah. Now, the third album on the list that's crazy that this is actually my favorite album from Nikki, you know, from my liking. 
but it's number three on the list. And that is the pink print. The pink print, you could feel that she, like, it was growth from when she first dropped Pink Friday to now. You could feel the emotions in the songs. It was just such a good-ass album. Like, you know, the crying games, all things go. I lied. You could just feel it. And then the rap songs that was in there, too, was good as hell. But, of course, there's a few songs on here that, like I said, I either don't like, don't care for, don't rock with. So, let's get into those. The first one, Getting On These featuring Ariana Grande. Now, here's a pattern. When Nicki does a song with Ariana Grande, when she gets on Ariana Grande's track, oh, it's good. You know, Ariana giving her all shine, like, just shining on her album, and then got Nicki doing the verse. When Ariana get on Nicki shit... Ariana gives, like, the least amount of effort, and I don't like that, but then sometimes, like, I'm gonna get into that with the next album. Uh, Nicki don't really let the people be on her, when they be on her albums, you don't really let them shine as they should, you know? They really, I don't know, Nicki wants all the spotlight on her, and then the featured artist doesn't really get to do much, they're just featured on the song. Like, honestly, when I see features on albums, I be wanting to hear that featured artist, like, kill this shit though i'm listening to it for the artists whose album it is i be wanting the actual feature artists to annihilate shit and getting on knees just getting on knees is better than bed but ariana again sounds tired while she's on this song y'all don't kill me for this one but it's okay like i said this is an opinion selling myself featuring beyonce i didn't like the beat I knew it was going to get dick rolled. And then Nicki did not let Beyonce do shit. It's the fact like Beyonce let Nicki be on Flawless and have a whole good ass verse. Feeling myself, Nicki had Beyonce repeatedly saying feeling myself. So it's not even a good chorus. And then she let Beyonce have a four bar, let her have four bars. And then let her rap behind her as she was rapping something. And I'm like, you want to go to Beyonce. Like, I'm, I'll fuck with Beyonce. I'm not, like, part of the Beehive and all that shit. But it's like, damn. I wanted to see Beyonce, like, do a rap verse. She didn't get to do that on the song. Only, only is boring as hell. Boring ass song. And it's just, I don't know. Like, people like this song. Just because she has a few good punchlines in a song does not make the song good. The beat is bad. Again, this is one of those Drake Wayne Nicki songs where I know Nicki verse, I know half of Drake verse, and don't know Lil Wayne verse. Cause I didn't like the song when it first came out. You know, the album covers really help the song. You know, if your album cover isn't good or your single cover isn't good, the song ain't gonna be good in my opinion. Like with Queen, going back to that, the album cover it wasn't like the other three, but it was different. And the sound was different, too. And then when you add songs in there, like Rich Sex and Barbie Dreams and all that stuff, it just does not fit the theme. And then, I don't know, like, I wasn't used to that sound. You know, like, your album cover really speaks to what the hell the album is going to be about. So, the single cover for Only looked boring as hell, and that song was boring. The beat not even good. And then Chris Brown, and I'm like, oh, shit, Chris Brown finna kill it. No, Chris Brown ain't even do as much as I thought he was going to do. They had him rhyming only with only a few times, and I'm just like, I do not like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. Four Door and Ventador. I don't like the beat. Like, like again, this is one of the songs where it's like, I hate the beat, but she spitting on that damn song. Y'all don't give me for this one, too. Anaconda. Though I overplayed Anaconda when it first came out and overwatched the video, Anaconda is a bland-ass song. I really don't like when Nicki does those role-playing songs. It's not fun, Tom Boat. She fucking with a drug dealer and all that shit. It's not really interesting to me. And the song was only good because she um, remixed her mix a lot. So Baby Got Back. And I already listened to that song before she even did her little remix on it. Well, her own version of it. And what's crazy, the Grammys nominated this song as Best Rap Song. And I'm just like, damn. Out of all the good songs she got, she remixed somebody else shit and then get nominated for a Grammy. Like, Nicki got too many good songs ahead for the Grammys to be doing her like this. The Night Is Still Young. The Night Is Still Young is it's not even a bad song. It's just too poppy for this album. This shit sounds like a rejected song from Roman Reloaded. 
the pink print, like I said, is real soulful and is mainly rapping R&B. And this is when Nicki said she was going to stop doing pop. So why is this random ass pop song in this good R&B rap album? Like, what the fuck? Bed of Lies, I didn't care for it. It was boring to me. Like, after, like, the third verse, it's just, I don't know, it's tired. Like, the song was putting me to sleep, honestly. I don't know if it was Skylar Gray putting me to sleep or Nikki or the beat. It's, it's something was wrong. So, if I stop here, this is just a standard version. If I stop here, then uh, it'll be, the score would be a, a, a 56. It'll be a 56. And also, I forgot to mention... With this album and Pink Friday, Nicki Minaj had you going on scavenger hunts to listen to her music. So, Nicki Minaj has three different deluxe editions. She has one on iTunes, one at Best Buy, and one at Target. And I think, like, each different deluxe edition you get, you get, like, three regular deluxe edition songs and a bonus one, which is extra as hell. Because I remember it's some song called Whammables that I was going to put on this list until I heard the second half of the song and it got better. But yeah, some of these Nicki songs, if you haven't heard them, they on YouTube or like some shit. Some streaming sites might have a complete edition out. But that's because she likes to have people go looking for songs and shit, which is annoying as hell. The deluxe edition of this album was really good. Them bonus songs she had were cool as hell. The only one I did not like was Big Daddy featuring Meek Mill because this was when Nicki was dating Meek and... This was probably a rejected song from his album, and he wanted to put it on Nicki shit. Because, like I said, Nicki has to have the spotlight on her album, you know. Once we get into the next album, I will explain how Nicki really just wants. When you want a Nicki song, you can either do the chorus or have a verse. Never both. You cannot get both. The only time I do recall her letting somebody get both was Sex in the Lounge, or she let Bobby V do the chorus and have a verse and i was surprised by that but other than that you can't get both meek mill as i think he had two verses and the chorus i ain't like that shit because like I, I i enjoy meek i'm just not a big meek fan especially to hear him like rap most of the song while you're not even saying shit like nah i don't like that so the final score for this album is a 65 which I don't like. That's still low to me. You know? Yeah, in math terms, we could round that to uh, 7, 70. But, yeah, 65, 6.5. Like I said, this is my favorite album from her. And the reason it's my favorite is because out of the bad songs she have, the good ones really outshine it. You know, the good ones really, like, do what they need to do for me to actually like it more. So, yeah. Number two on my list, and I'm not going to beat around the bush, number two is Pink Friday, because I ain't got no really clever joke to even, like, throw at it. Pink Friday was good. It was her first uh, studio album. I was ready for it. I remember waiting on her to drop this shit. I remember she was dropping a single, Massive Attack, then check it out with Will I Am and her, that fucking song. I love that song so I overplayed the fuck out that song. My family hated me for that shit. That song was good as fuck. And I love what I am from the Black Eyed Peas. So them together on the song, on the Black Eyed Peas ass song. Oh my god. Your Love is one of my favorite songs ever. And that is my number one favorite Nicki Minaj song. So yeah, she did that shit on Pink Friday. Remember I was on Pandora listening to all her mixtapes and all that shit. Preparing for this. So let me just talk about the songs. I didn't really care for it. Not that I didn't like any of these. I didn't really care for them. Did it on them? I know. Again, I didn't like the beat. I didn't like the beat. She was spitting, though. I didn't like Safari yelling in the background every time she got done rapping. That pissed me off. Because it's like, yeah, this your girl and shit. And you rapping on... Like, it's just... Shut the fuck up. Let's let her rap. Let her rap. Like, you ruining the damn song and shit. Fly featuring Rihanna. Did not care for it. Like, I'm telling y'all. Like, Rihanna did her shit on fly. It's just, like, again, like, when Nicki does features, they are okay. But when she hops on somebody else's song as a featured artist, she does her shit. Like, Rain and Men featuring Nicki Minaj by Rihanna is a good-ass song. Fly with Rihanna by Nicki ain't really, like, interesting to me. Here I am. 
here I am was I didn't like the beat. <laughs> uh, I just I don't know. Is that you ever watch, listen to something and like you just cringe listening to it? That's how I felt with that song. So if I stop here with the 13 songs and I like three, it'll be at a 77, which is high. So that's a seven point. That's a seven out of ten. But honestly, rounding that, that'd be eight. But the deluxe edition made it drop. Fuck it, it made it drop 11 points because Nicki Minaj made me realize that deluxe editions aren't always the best thing to go for. Like, buy the standard version because if you sit up there and spend an extra, like, what, four to six dollars on the deluxe edition, you might get disappointed. These damn songs in this deluxe edition are not that good. And like I said, Nicki likes for you to go on scavenger hunts to find her music. But uh, luckily, the streaming sites now has Pink Friday, the complete edition out. Because like I said, two, two new, two extra deluxe edition songs were on Target. Two was on iTunes. The regular one was at Best Buy. All this extra shit trying to look for stuff. The, the shit was annoying. So one of the deluxe edition songs that then I like was Blow Your Mind. It was kind of whack. The beat was whack. Whatever she was talking about was whack. Let me look up the lyrics because... It's one of these verses that just sound fucking dumb. And I'm just sitting here like, well, as I'm looking for it, I can like tell you like the third verse. She's like, fuck, I look like, what the fuck I look like? I'm a bad motherfucker. What the fuck I look like? And said that three more times. And it's like, baby, if you don't have nothing else to say for the third verse, wrap the song up. That's why these new artists, I hate the fact that they songs just be two minutes. But they know if they ain't got nothing else to rap about, they just gonna stop. Here's the part I did not like with this song. She said, I'm in here, I'm in here, all in your in ear. Boy, I put this pussy on your chinny chin chin, yeah. Bitch, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, piss me off. This shit pissed me the fuck off. Like, this is on one of my worst Nicki Minaj songs. Is. Wave your hand. Wave your hand was boring. Wave your hand was not a. This is a boring deluxe edition song. These are songs that did not make the cut, but she just like, oh no, let's put it on deluxe edition. No, baby, the deluxe edition supposed to be the extra good songs on the, this shit. I don't know. I I tried to listen to Wave Your Hand the other day. I could I couldn't finish it. It was just one of them cringy ass beats that's not good. Like you can't really bob your head a vibe to this song. It's just stupid as hell. Then the third verse. All she doing is like making sounds. Like she, I, 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 and that's just like the whole third verse, like her mumbling and making sounds and shit. Again, if you done, just stop. That's all you gotta do. Girls fall like dominoes. Uh, I didn't care for it. I didn't like the beat on that song either. It was okay. So yeah. With that score, the score for that one with the deluxe edition all together is a 68 out of 100. That's more than a 6 out of 10. That's a 7 out of 10. So, yeah. And now the last one, the number one Nicki Minaj out of my life that I was surprised was that number one. But it makes sense while I was doing this list. It's Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded. Man, I was sitting here like, damn. I like a lot of the songs on here. The songs on here are good. So, like I said, Queen didn't have that structure I like from these other albums. Because it just seems like Nicki was doing her own little thing with Queen. Though, like, some of the beats were on tack. It's just, it seems weird, like, copping from, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, I just did not like Queen. Like, songs like Come See About Me, Run and Had, Nip Tuck, I didn't give a fuck about them. Like I said, it's probably because she went in a different direction, used a different, like, beats, beat style or whatever. But I really wasn't a fan of it. But it worked well in Roman Reloaded. Like I said, the album cover that you put out gives you a feel of what the song is going to be about, how the song, well, you know, how the songs are going to be about. All of that stuff, like the cover just shows that it's gonna be all over the place, so don't expect nothing special. You know, Pink Print seemed like it was gonna be a soulful album because it's her finger, it's her fucking fingerprint. 
the first album, the way it was going, the what she was rapping about, it just sound like her coming up and shit. Like it's just growth. Like the first three albums together seemed like it was just nice growth. It was just nice to see her grow from Pink Friday to the Pink Print. Yeah, I feel like those three albums were like completing the nice trilogy, and I guess Queen don't even seem like it was a start of anything. It's just. I don't know. I just was not a fan of Queen. So whatever album she drops next, hopefully I like it because I love Nicki Minaj. Whatever she drop, I'm going to listen to it. But I just, I don't want to sit here and be like, damn, I, I don't, do I not like her no more? Because 13 years, 13, almost 13, 12, 12 years loving this lady. Like, man. So let's get into the songs I did not really like or didn't care for. And I'm reloaded. Bees in the Trap. Now, I know y'all think I'm nitpicking. I just do not like popular songs. I don't like songs that get dick rolled. And this one didn't even get dick rolled like that. I just, I don't know. I consider this as a club song. So, a club song is when you just play this in the club. And you're not really listening to the lyrics. It's just a nice little beat for what you what you just dance to when you're drunk. You just vibing. It's a little vibe song for the club, you know? This song ain't that good. Like, the beat ain't that good. The lyrics ain't that good. What did she say? Damn. Damn what they say about me? I don't know, man. Fuck this on your biscuit. If I get hit, swinging on the big bitch. I don't know, man. I'm shitting on your whole life. What is she talking about? Like, like I said, it's a club song. This is one of the ones I do let pass, though, because I used to play it. But, like, playing it on my own now, like, if it's, like, if I, like, do a Nicki Minaj shuffle and this song play, I will skip it. 2 Chainz ain't do no better on the damn song. And, like I said, Nicki, his song with Nicki, on his album, Good, I Love Them Strippers, this song is not bad. It's just, it's, oh, it's a, it's a okay. It's just an okay. Then... It was one of the, that strip club video was actually decent. The director did a decent job with it. It's just not as shaking everywhere. It's just different sceneries, Nikki and different outfits, just not two people in one setting. Uh, Automatic. I didn't like the beat of Automatic. I didn't listen to it. It was one of them songs that made me cringe. Can't listen to Automatic. But yeah, if I stop right there, because it was a lot of songs on here. If I stop right there, this is a uh, 89, which is high as hell. Like I said, I like a lot of songs from here. And the two deluxe edition songs, I liked it too. But Nicki had to release a third version of this album, which is Pink Friday when Reloaded the Re-Up. So I forgot to mention, Pink Friday when Reloaded the Re-Up is not a single album. It's a re-release of Pink Friday when Reloaded. So she released seven new songs and then for some reason added Vava Voom to that collection, though Vava Voom was on the deluxe. She just added Masquerade on there too, but you know, she did whatever she wanted. So let me talk about the songs that I didn't care for on here. I'm legit featuring Sierra. Now, I have been wanting the Nicki Minaj Sierra collaboration since uh, Nicki had uh, hopped on the I Wanna song with Sierra or whatever that original song was. I have been wanting that for a while. Like I said, Nikki don't like nobody outshining her on her own shit. And I've realized that. Because and I'm and, and I'm out by Sierra featuring Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj gets the opening verse. And then Sierra does uh her two verses and the chorus. And then Nikki gets the final verse. Which I liked. I like that structure. I like that mix-up. On here, Sierra only gets the chorus. And like I said, I don't, I'm not going to say I don't like the song. It's just I hate that Sierra didn't have much to do. Like, I really hate when artists, because a regular song has the artist who's featured be a featured artist and get a verse. Like, one thing that pissed me off when uh, True Train is on fucking Problems by ASAP Rocky, he only had the chorus. You had the dude who talk about fucking bitches all the time, just do the chorus. He didn't get a verse. That really pissed me off. I hated that shit. But yeah, the song, I, I'm legit, this could have been better. You know, like a lot of these songs that I, that's on my do not like list, they just could have been better. You know, they just kind of seem like a waste of time, like a waste of feature. And then, whew, I feel like I'm going to do a worst Nicki Minaj songs list, and I feel like this is my number one. I endorse these strippers featuring Tyga and Thomas Bronx. This song is ass. 
I remember when it first came out, I tried to listen to it. I tried to force myself to like it. This was one of the first songs of Nicki's that I fucking hated. And I'm just like, I have to like this. I like Nicki. I love Nicki. But this song is bad. This song is fucking bad. Let me look up. Let me look up the lyrics real quick. This song is just and then this is this song right here is when I stopped liking Tiger. Because like I was liking Tiger when uh Lil Wayne brought him out. I was just like, oh shit. Nicki brought uh Wayne brought out these, these artists and I liked them when he first dropped his album. Then I listened to it. No, I listened to the singles. But like after that, I'm just like, this nigga whack. Like, I don't know. So I remember his part, his last part was like, she up and down that pole. But she ain't vote in, and then he gonna laugh. I hate when rappers laugh after they say something funny to just initiate that it's funny. Here's a verse Nicki said that I did not like. Did I endorse Young Nick? I am Young Nick. Your panties all in the bunch, but you can suck my dick. And I'm like, okay. Boobs, 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 boobs. Lot of boobs. Man, I make the baddest bitches send me nudes. Like. Playing with my pussy. I am just that bored. I mean, we could have went shopping, but what could you afford? Like, <laughs> this is just like you you re release your album to just let this song be. This is something that you let be leaked or some shit. This ain't something you make somebody pay for, OG. Like, the only, the only good part I like about this song is when she said, Batman, I'm robbing hoes. Like, that was clever because that'd be the thing. The reason why I be letting Nicki slide by so many times with certain songs is because she have a good punchline in it. But just because she has one to two good punchlines in it does not make the whole song good. I ain't the Tiger just bored the fuck out of me. And Tomix Bronx got this raspy ass voice that I just was not fucking with. So I just never finished the song. I never listened to it. And I do not like it. It's a, and the beat is horrible. Like this loop, this this doo, like that shit. Nah. So, overall, this album gets an 85, which is still good. I liked it. Some people like will say, like, Pink Fire Remy Loaded ain't even good. It's just, I like the structure of it. Just because, like, she really, like, seemed like they took time to, like, put stuff into play with this album. Like, this album was, like, every genre. It was rap, R&B, pop, fucking reggae fucking like electric like she they went all out so let me go to it so the first seven songs are the first seven songs are rap the next two are r&b then one two three four the next four are pop and then like the next four are like a mixture of pop and r&b then gunshot is like reggae pop and stupid ho is at the bottom for some reason just because they ain't know what they did not know where to put stupid ho so stupid ho is just an other <laughs> in my opinion then masquerade and uh blah blah boom masquerade is kind of like r&b pop and then blah blah boom same same place it's just was structured so well to me like for me like to look at the first seven songs and it's like oh these rap then it just switches and mixes different genres together I really like that. So, I fuck with Roman Reloaded hard. I fuck with it heavy. But, yeah. That is my Nicki Minaj ranking. My worst to best. Number four, Queen. Number three, Pink Print. Number two, Pink Friday. And number one, Roman Reloaded. And like I said, so if I if I was to rank this based on, like, my personal liking and my personal, like, how I feel about the albums... Pink uh, Queen would still be number four, but I would switch uh, Pink Friday and uh, Pink Print because I really like Pink Print. Pink Print was my shit. Pink Print was my shit. But on like a really liking standpoint, Roman Reloaded had a bunch of a bunch of good songs. Like I said, like them songs I said I did not really give a fuck about. I could still play those through. It's just you know these other albums, certain songs I just don't like. I will skip them, bitches. But yeah, if you want to discuss anything I said in this video, let me know in the comments. I'm not Nicki Minaj hater. I am not. Uh, like I said, I've been liking her since I was nine. I'm 20, finna be 22. Like, again, you just have to be able to like 
have an opinion. You have to, you can't just sit up there and say everything she does is good because it's not. You know, I remember like with the little, with the little Kim situation. I'm just sitting here like, oh, she ain't steal Kim shit. You know, Kim just hating. And then like people just like, oh, she was inspired. She didn't get it. She, she didn't steal it. She just, she's doing it, but making it better. When you got to say sweet shit like that to make something sound better, then just admit the fact that you just, just admit. I don't know, because, like, I still don't want to say she took shit from Lil' Kim, because, like, again, like, you know how many rappers uh, love Wayne, idolize Wayne, you know, it's always with females, with women, they always put them against each other, you know, but it's a lot of dreadhead rappers out here that be trying to rap like Wayne, be like Rain, dress like Wayne, shit, but no one bats an eye about that, I mean, shit, but then when, like, Nicki takes somebody else, shit, it just, I don't know. It just seemed like Kim originally did it. But I don't think no other female rapper calls themselves Barbie. But that's a conversation for another video. I'm not even going to bring that shit up. But, yeah. I love Nicki Minaj. Everything she does is not going to be on my favorites list. You know, rather it's music, movies, TV shows, interviews, shit she say. Nicki is human, you know. You need to own up to shit. I don't know. Just also know with you defending this woman, she don't know you. You're not getting paid for that. That's why when people used to piss me off in high school and be like, oh my God, Nicki Minaj trash. Okay, bitch, she trash to you. I'ma still blast her fucking music. Some new shit too. I don't give no fuck. Like people just try to do that to get under your skin. So yeah, this is like, like I said, this is my opinion. If you chose to sit here and watch this video to this point, congratulations. But don't try to cuss me out because you mad talking about I'm just a hater. I know there's going to be some people in the comments saying that. But again, you chose to watch the video. You gave me the view. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Till the next video.